Oh, hello Lola's. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel guys. So today I'm here with baby Major and you guys know when I post him I'll be like, it's Major. <laughs> I just love saying that. Um, some people probably be like, girl, what? But um, for those that may not know, let me turn this whole face this way. Major is the Sam Sculpt by Gudrun Legler, painted by me. He's waiting to get his little hair. Um, so, first of all, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram as Miss Serenity Smith. I will be including little short videos of outfits of the day of the babies. And also, I do um, just show the babies and you can see them more up close and stuff like that with photos. Um, also, guys, if you're not following me, I have a blog called MrSerenitySmithBabies.com and, um, and make sure you subscribe here. Um, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. I have, like I've been saying before, I have things coming up for you guys. Just give me a little bit of time. I'm getting closer, closer, closer. Um, and, um, but yeah, this little one. So first, before I get into the topic today, let's let's talk about what he's wearing today. The baby is wearing <laughs> no. Um, so he is wearing a little um, elephant sleeper. It's a cream color, so it's like a winter white. Um, and it have little elephants on it. And if anybody knows me, they know that I absolutely love elephants and um figurines clothes pictures i love elephants um and maybe because my mom loved elephants when i was younger and she used to have a lot of brass elephants and you know just different elephants she always had elephants and maybe i just I took to it um this little elephant hat has the bottom to it um liz um from moms forever gave me this in a gift exchange at a doll meetup years years ago and i of course still have it i have everything that she's ever gifted me mostly everything that everybody's gifted me i always hold on to it you may not see it right away but then you'll slowly see it you might see it pop up every now and then in what the babies are wearing um this one zips up and down his little legs oh my god i love this baby um and then he ha it has the um because it zips up and it zips down it zips two way and then it has the little hand mitts those little hands so i love when they have the little hand mitts especially this is what i like to ship my babies in when i ship babies because i don't have to try to find separate hand mitts it's like a really cool way to just you know protect their hands from not being scratched up or anything in the travel so i love to put them the babies in sleepers when they go home they usually go home in a sleeper and then whatever little other outfit that i put in there or outfits is usually something that i just add in i really usually like to put them in sleepers but anyway he is i i want to say he is my all-time favorite baby in my collection right now I think he's number one right now I think I'll have to think about that rate my babies maybe I should do that again let me guys let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video called rating my babies like of how I feel about them emotionally and artistically I can do that maybe Ooh, it would be so hard um anyway so basically I've been, you know, looking and seeing and, you know, watching what's going on in the community. So I just want to give my two cents on it. Um, one of the things that um, people have been talking about is, um, you know, the buyer's protection or, you know, spa days. People, Some people call it spa days when you can send your baby back to the original artist and they will, you know, refresh your baby or, you know, um fix it if something go wrong etc etc what type of warranty we have on these dolls um as we know they are very expensive you know 
you know, even 300 and up is that's expensive to me for a doll because typically, you know, the average doll, an expensive doll back in the day when I was growing up and I was buying dolls or my parents was buying dolls for me, the most expensive doll maybe went to like 150 or something like that. And I was one that talked and moved and, you know, the animation and stuff. But we're looking at hundreds to thousands of dollars sometime, you know, well close to twenty thousand dollars you know um in dolls um so you know me i'm gonna i'm gonna talk from a collector standpoint and then i'm gonna talk from a person that actually make paint the dolls and sell the dolls so from a collector standpoint i've never felt like an artist was obligated to take my doll back and fix it because as long as when it comes to me it's within good good quality and standing and everything is fine um and I'm not talking about cosmetic things because sometimes people you know especially with customs people get confused get things confused with defects versus you know um cosmetic so if I get a custom and I approve the pictures and they send it to me then that's that unless it comes to me and it's something other than and like let's say for instance you know god forbid it's you know got a rip in the leg or the arm or um the vinyl has a split or you know or you know um melted on once I someone actually did sell me a doll and the doll had been kind of like melted so I've, I've had some all crazy scenarios. So that would be something that you would address right on. But once you have the doll, some people, you know, you have it for two weeks or three weeks or 30 days or, you know, a year. Some people come back three, four, five years and be like, can you do so and so to the dolls? And I've actually had that question. And even from people that I hold near and dear to my heart has asked me about like upgrading one of my past dolls or something like that and I had to respectfully tell them no because that was my work back then I'm pretty sure I priced it based off of my work back then and it's not fair to the artist that you think that you can just send your doll back to the artist so that they can you know change them upgrade them refresh them and most people expect free at charge even to charge it because there's so many things that, um, first of all, when you're trying to match colors or um, hair, all that stuff, trying to match that stuff up is just a challenge. Um, it may not be something that the artist is even capable of doing. Much less, we all know we change our babies, we display our babies, we dress our babies, we take them out on outings sometimes, some, peop some collectors, some collectors let more than just them handle their dolls um a lot of people everybody can say oh i just put the baby on the shelf some people really do but you know how many people how many collectors that actually say that that really don't just put their babies on the shelf i know a few that actually privately have shown me and confided in me that they play with their dolls but to the public they would make it seem like they were just this crisp pristine doll collector that never do anything with their dolls but look at them so um i don't i don't think that the that makes the artist less of an artist if they decide not to take back their work it's not not standing by their work um it's just you don't get to buy a sofa from you know Ashley's furniture and then um sit on it sleep on it or even just let it sit in your living room and never you can keep the plastic on it and let it sit there for four years and call them back and say hey I just wanted to know if you guys would just clean this or you know swap this out or um it looks like it kind of when I did sit on it after four years it had a tear um I need it to be fixed unless you bought an extended warranty on that furniture you're not taking it back Walmart you're not taking it back well Walmart will take back stuff 
that's new with the receipt it's kind of a little different but they're not gonna take back if you had it you know certain things are not gonna take back you ain't taking no food back you know just I just I just don't think that and that's just from a collector's point of view that's how I've always felt I've always had that stance um definitely now that I'm painting I understand how even for me like I for instance Phoebe when I had went through all that I went through with painting Phoebe um I did have to try to fix her right then I was terrified that I would not then I end up going back and painting on Phoebe about two to three times um and it really it changed her look a little bit um she got darker um you know like when you look at Phoebe her little legs are a little bit darker and which is normal for um black babies sometimes that you know the face will be a little lighter or whatever so that's that's normal it, it didn't take away from her but it did change things. Now, had she been somebody else's baby, they probably would have had a hissy. Like, oh my gosh, she's you. She was like this when I got her, and da 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 da. So, it's just so many things that, you know, there are some artists out here that can like pretty much match perfectly back. But think about what it does for them. It's taking them away from new money, making money. Because it takes time. It takes more time to fix things than it do to just start off new. And that's another thing. A lot of people ask about, will you strip and paint Reborns? I've never stripped a Reborn. I don't even know how to. I don't care to learn how to because from all my colleagues, is like, um, or my peers, I should say, they say that it's, it's so much work. I don't have time for that. Like... By the time it takes me weeks and weeks to strip it, no. Or, you know, however long, I could be done painting another doll. Just get a new kit. You know, even if it's a sold out kit, I'd rather just get rid of the kit, throw it away, sell it, whatever. I don't... It's just more work. It's more work. And then, like, some people charge to, you know, uh, correct somebody else's work. And, of course, a lot of people, a lot of artists have this hero mentality, like 1-800-SAVE-A-HO. They want to go in and I'm a, oh, let me show how great I am. I fixed this artist's work and all this. I, I, I'm not trying to prove myself to no one. So, I don't have time for that. I'm not trying to, you know, be the savior of the community and not even of myself. Because it's like, and then sometimes they charge you, okay, if the doll originally costed you $800, and you paying somebody four hundred dollars or three fifty to fix it, you almost just might as well just got you a brand new doll, one that you're gonna like because you, there's no guarantee it's gonna work out with the repair. It's just it just doesn't make sense. Now silicone is another subject, but even with silicone, um, I don't expect the artist to take it back. I know I would probably be devastated. And, you know, would, if it came to that, I would probably ask the original artist. Um, but I wouldn't be upset or feel that they would, should be obligated to fix it. Now, again, there are those savior heroes out here that will fix other people's work. And you could always reach out to those people and, you know, hope for the best. Or maybe see some of their, you know, repair work or whatever and go from there. But yeah, that was just my spill on it. I don't know what you guys think, but I know, you know, I just, I've seen collectors do so many things with their dolls. And to to feel that, that a collector, oh, we pay all this money, you should take it back and fix it. Or you should take it back and do this. Y'all got dogs eating y'all babies, cats eating y'all babies, rats eating y'all babies. You know, children, you know, pulling out the hair, pulling off the hair, all types of stuff. And then they were talking like reroutes and all that and stuff. The thing about it is like um, silicone. They tell you the hair is not still. However, for the most part, the hair usually stick in just as good as it does with vinyl. Um, but certain hairs, like if it's more finer and stuff like that, and sometimes you know a little bit will shed off because of the rooting at first, and then it kind of stopped when I got. Um, 
I can't remember if it was Phoebe or Nigel. One of them, their hair kind of shedded a little bit. But then I think it was just from not the first rinse. But they had no bald spots, no nothing, no no hair loss. So it wasn't really like hair coming from out of the head. It was hair that was like on the, the it was the mohair. I don't know. But anyway, um, but people will reroute. Um, one of the things that I've seen people do just, just adding a little tidbit in here and then I'm going to go because this video is getting long. Um, with the vinyl, a lot of times what people do to try to, um, minimize the holes in the head is they'll put it in the oven a little bit and warm it because the vinyl will kind of close it, close up some of the holes a little bit. I don't know. But yeah, um, so... I don't know guys but I just don't feel like the I feel like sometimes we expect a little too much you know um, it is very important that we learn how to take care of these babies and maintain them um, and try to avoid you know damages and stuff like that because of how expensive they are um, because there's a possibility that they they are pieces of art they are one of they're not one of a kind but they're kind of one of a kinds because usually for most part some people do cookie cutter painting they use the same jar color paints for every baby so they can do the same as that color because they have this mix that they use they jar it and they paint from that every single time and all their babies are the same as that colors but for people like um, me and some of the other people it may be a little bit hard because we just mix, mix as we go randomly and um you know matching up colors and stuff could be challenging but anyway that is that and um yeah oh and i meant to tell you guys i find that he fit up to seven pounds so wonderfully um i love it so i'm gonna be looking for more clothing that's up to seven pounds for him and my um my the i mean the Aspen and Abby prototypes um, they fit the same size so um, which I'll be able to show you guys um, at least one of them soon they are almost done with their hair well one and the other one is getting her hair well yeah she's getting her hair Aspen is will be the first one to see what hair but anyway guys let me know what you guys think I hope you enjoyed this conversation and we will talk later bye i hate to even move <laughs> this is the thing when i i hate to move i was trying to think who is my most cuddly baby in the nursery right now other than phoebe